guys welcome to expertizer academy today we're going to see how to build an autocad plugin just a hello world and how to get it from scratch so this is like all you need is just autocad if you just have autocad and visual studio you should be able to do this simple as that so don't need for any uh, project templates and things like that so i'm going to show you how to create a project template from scratch as well all right so let's get started so make sure that you have autocad installed and then uh, you have Visual Studio installed as well. So I'm just going to uh, create a new project. I'm going to call this as, uh, let's, hello world. Let's get started. Okay, so, so go to your uh, Microsoft, uh, sorry, Microsoft Visual Studio, and then choose uh, C Sharp Windows, and then Class Library, and then I'm going to call this one as uh, hello AutoCAD plugin hello world okay autocad 2018 so let's put it as 18 here okay so the project is created is just a standard class project so you're not you cannot load this one into autocad so you need to do certain things okay let's quickly run through what we have here so this is visual studio uh, this is the code view uh, this is a class project so you're not going to have a designer drag and drop controls you're not going to have all this uh, so we will do that separately in a win forms or uh, wpf we'll be going with wpf that's the latest compared to win forms win forms is gone don't use that anymore okay so this is your solutions explorer so in that we got one project and that's your properties references that's your, all your uh, libraries and that's your class file okay so you double click on the class file you get to open the class file here so i'm just going to quickly run through certain things here so before we started we need to have some libraries in place um so i have got the libraries um saved onto a separate folder generally i'll keep maintaining all the libraries um, all the version libraries for all the different projects uh, like these you know let's say if i'm working on dot net uh, so this is all the libraries i use so autodesk you see from 2013 oh it's not gone uh, so from 2014 uh, I save all the libraries I work on the reason being is sometimes I may have to go back and work or edit some of these projects and things like that so I don't have to run around and find these libraries so sometimes I don't even have these version of AutoCAD or Revit or uh, Vault or any of these applications installed so in that case uh, I don't have to run around and find these versions so every time I work on any project so I'll maintain those libraries uh, these versions and things like that um, yeah so that you know we don't lose those libraries so i got 2018 so i got autocad so these are the uh, libraries generally i use anything that i use extra apart from this i'll just make a copy and put it up here so put it onto dropbox so it's always safe yeah okay cool so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to add these references not all these references are needed but for the case of this exercise i'm just going to add them um so you go to browse and then you go to the location where we got the libraries, select all of them, and then click add, and then click on OK. So all these libraries are added. So that's a great way to start. So next one, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to name this project as my commands. So the class file, I'm going to rename it as my commands.cs. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just going to rename it here as well, just in case if it doesn't do what, rename it. And um, so next thing I'm going to do is in, I'm going to add an uh, assembly right on top of the namespace. This is not needed. Uh, this will actually increase performance. So it just basically lets you load the assemblies before it loads a class file. So assembly colon command class and type of AutoCAD. That's the name of the current class. And then my commands. Okay, and then close it. Oops, this one. Okay, so there is a squiggly sign here. So we need to add these references. So one is using dot autocad dot uh, runtime. So that's one of them. And apart from that, you need a uh, few more application services database services if you're going to access the ddbg file data geometry you're going to use creating polylines and anything that you're going to do 
an editor if you're going to print something to the command line editor or ask the user to input some information <coughs> excuse me okay so that's done and um, so this is working no squigglies cool so now let's get started so i'm just going to have a bracket command method and uh, bracket i'm going to say this is hello and then uh, i'm going to public void hello world brackets parenthesis <coughs> so first thing is we need to get the current document <coughs> that's basically the open file okay so this is going to be autodesk dot autocad because it's always good to do this way because sometimes you will be within map 3d civil 3d any of those ones they have the separate document for them as well uh, your autocad document will get you the autocad assets your uh, civil 3d document will get you civil 3d document assets so they both are different uh, yeah so I'm just gonna use application services application document manager MDI active document so that will get the current active document if you got multiple files open um, So this will get whichever the file that is open. It will get the document of that drawing file DDBG file. Okay, so then we got editor so ed and then this will be document and Dot editor so that means current documents editor if you print something it will go to the current documents editor So what are the document you got fetched at the moment? Okay, I'm gonna say editor dot write message and then I'm gonna say Hello world Neo Knock Okay, cool and then of course semicolon all right so that's done so let's try and rebuild it build it still the same so it says rebuild success if you have some issues it will show in the error so make sure that you go and check it out and then the output make sure that you check both of these and uh, once you all set which is good so now I'm going to right click on my project and then I'm gonna set uh, open the folder and then uh, you will see the bin folder and by default it goes in there so if you just right click on your project and go to project properties and then you can see the build action so it's going to be going into the bin debug folder because this is a debug release it's going to be in the debug folder so i'm going to the debug folder and uh, so i can see all these uh, references are copied along with uh, my application and then that there is my application so okay so let's go and check it in autocad so let's fire up autocad uh, what I get 2018 civil 3 you know it takes a while to load it let's wait let's wait okay here we go so we don't need to have anything in the drawing blank drawing is enough the command to load the DLL file is net load so there is also an option to load it on demand and things like that so now I'm just gonna select it uh, just in case if you want to quickly navigate to the location just copy the location and put into file name paste it and press enter it takes it to the location simple so just gonna select hello world and uh, that's the only thing you need to select you don't have to select anything else because all these libraries are already loaded with this exe uh, that is AutoCAD exe click open uh, yes of course always load and then I'm gonna type in hello and then here we go so we got it printed so that's our very first AutoCAD plugin uh, okay guys cool so let's keep focusing on this uh, playlist and few more uh, you know that I'm working on um, civil 3d fundamentals tutorial um, subassembly composer uh, Microsoft project pinnacle studio and uh, there is other whole bunch of other things as well I'll be doing vault uh, and probably neighbors works InfraWorks, a lot of other things as well. Um, but this is something which I love doing it. Um, worked on several large scale projects on developing applications on top of AutoCAD, Civil 3D Vault, 
Navis, Infraworks, a lot of these ones. Um, yeah, just keep focusing on this. And then uh, if you have any questions, put it onto the comment section. See all the projects which I'm doing, uh, I'll actually add it to a separate exercise file and then you can, you can download it from there. All right. Thanks guys.